Hi, I'm Dan Horn with Discerning History, and this is a section of a pontoon bridge. One of the main problems for the movement of armies is water. It's just not practical for large armies to try to swim a river. Boats are really slow, and it takes a long time to build a regular bridge. So one solution that was developed to this problem was pontoon bridges. They're built by laying boards across small boats or something else that provides buoyancy. They can be put together and taken down quickly and moved on to use on another river. Pontoon bridges have been used for many years. There's records of pontoon bridges being used in ancient China all the way back to 1000 BC. And they're still used by the United States military today. Pontoon bridges were used very frequently in the American Civil War to cross the rivers of the South. For this type of pontoon bridge, these pontoons would be towed or pulled out into the river. They would then be connected together by these chesses with rope. Finally, they would add planking, and then the bridge is ready to be used. In the Battle of Fredericksburg, the Union Army under Ambrose Burnside advanced south toward the Confederate Army of Northern Virginia under Robert E. Lee. The two armies were positioned on opposite heights, and between them was the Rappahannock River and the town of Fredericksburg. On December 11, 1862, Union engineers moved down to assemble the pontoon bridges across the river under the cover of their artillery fire. In the town across the river were Barksdale's Mississippi Brigade, and they resolutely opposed the crossing. It would be the first contested river crossing in U.S. military history. The unarmed Union engineers were soon driven off by the fire of Confederate sharpshooters. One officer and two soldiers were killed. The Union artillery blasted the town, and the engineers again rushed forward. But Barksdale's men were still in place. Nine Union charges were driven back. Finally, the Yankees changed their tactic. Union troops loaded into boats and sailed across the river to secure a beachhead. The Confederates did their best, but the Union soldiers rushed across the river, jumped out of the boats, rushed up the banks, and drove the Confederates back through the town. The bridges were then quickly built, and the Union Army was able to move into the town.